Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video I want to show you how to calculate your finance charges using a method called the unpaid balance method. This is a method that was used, well, quite a few years ago to calculate finance charges on credit cards. Now it's not used so much, but it does give us some practice in using some of the formulas like the simple interest formula that we've been using in the class. So suppose that on January 1st, you have a credit card balance of $620. On January 10th, you purchase a magazine subscription for $20. On January 12th, you return an item to Target for a credit of $34.50. On January 22nd, you make a payment of $500. On January 25th, you make a purchase at Safeway of $112. Now the annual interest rate on your credit card is 21% and we want to calculate the finance charge for January that will appear on the next month's statement using the unpaid balance method. We need to calculate two different finance charges. One for the outstanding balance of $620 for the previous month and then another for the unpaid balance at the end of January. So let's take a look at that previous month. So to find our finance charge, which is simply interest, I'm going to use I equals PRT. Remember, the interest in this case is our finance charge. P is the present value. R is the interest rate. And we need to remember to put that in as a decimal and then T is time. So our present value, the amount that we have outstanding, is $620. Our interest rate is 21%, so 0.21. And since this is an annual interest rate, I need to do my time in terms of years, so I'm going to write it as 1 over 12. So it's a twelfth of a year. So now let me turn on my calculator and put that on. So we're going to say 620 times 0.21 times 1 divided by 12. So we get $10.85 for the finance charge that's going to be on the January bill. So now, in order to figure out the finance charge for January, we need to add the finances charges, the purchases, subtract the returns and payments from the previous month's unpaid balance. So remember, our previous month's unpaid balance was $620. So we have to add on the finance charge that we just found. We need to add our purchases. Remember, we had a purchase of $20. So we're going to have to add that in. That increases our balance. We also had a purchase of 112. So that also increases our balance. And then we had a return of 3450. So that's going to decrease our balance. And then we also had a payment of $500. So that's also going to decrease our balance. So now let's put that into our calculator and figure out what our balance is at the end of the month. So 620, add in the finance charge of $10.85. We add the purchase of 20, so that adds. The purchase of 112, so that adds. But now we're going to start doing our returns, so minus 34.50, and our payment, minus 500. Press Enter. We get a balance at the end of the month of $228.35. So remember what these things are. We've got the finance charge. We've got the purchases, 
those all added. We've got a return. And then what we made in our payment. So we had our starting balance of 620. And so now the 228.35 is our ending balance. So once I have this, now I need to go ahead and figure out what the finance charge is on that amount. So again, I'll use the I equals PRT. So now the amount that's outstanding is the $228.35. We're going to have the 21% interest rate, so times 0.21, and we're going to go for another month. So let me go ahead and put those numbers in. So we've got 228.35 times 0.21 times 1 divided by 12. So we get 3.996125. We're going to round that to the nearest penny, and so that's going to give us approximately 4.00. So that would be the finance charge that would appear on the January bill. Remember, you do need to calculate the finance charge from your December purchases. Then we can come down here and do the same thing, but we do it on the updated balance for January.